Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and this is another Game Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to do views. So what a view basically is, it's you can have one room that's a huge room, like your level, and then your view will only show part of that room at a time. Usually they follow the player. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a view that follows the player. What I already have here is an example from one of my other videos where basically all this game does is, I mean, you've got this little maze and you can move around, right? So, nothing too special here. There's, I don't know, like maybe 10 lines of code inside here if you want to pause and copy this over. I'm also going to put a link in this video so you can go check that, check out this video, how to do it, so that you're not behind. But, just so that you know, this will apply to basically any game that you're building. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up our room here. And just to make this easier to visualize, I'm going to turn off the grid. Now we're going to come over here. Up, uh, There's going to be some tabs over here, and they're going to look a little different in Windows, but they're going to be the they're going to have the same tabs. You're going to want to go to Views. And actually, I'm going to go to Background and change the background color to green, just so that this looks well. That doesn't look like grass at all, actually. I want I want this to kind of look like grass, maybe. So there we go, whatever. So that's our background, here's our player. Now we're going to go to Views. Now you want to click Enable the, views, the Use of Views and Visible When Room Starts. So you can see right now there's actually a view. You can see it's bordering the entire screen right now. That wouldn't do us any good, right? Because that's basically what the room looks like in the first place. We do want to do Object Following and we're going to do the player. Now our room is, well, let's see, our room is 640 by 480. So the view in the room, we want this to be smaller. We want this, to, I'm going to do it in half. I'm going to do 320 by 240. Right, so that's quite a bit smaller. You can see it cuts off and makes this box here. So the port on the screen, which is going to be how big the game looks on the screen, we want to leave that at 640 by 480. So all we're going to do is change the actual view in the room the port on the screen will be the same. We want them to be proportional though, that's why I just cut it in half. Now what we're going to do, we already selected the player for object following, but we want, we want the horizontal border to be half of what the view in the room is. So right now it's 320, so we're going to make that 160 because that's half of 320. And then for the vertical border, which is going to be for our uh, y direction of the room height, we want this to be half of 240, which is going to be 120, right? So now we've created a view and we've got it to follow the player. So let's go see what this looks like in the game. And you can see everything's bigger and when we move the view follows the player around. So it makes our it makes our game look it 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 increases the scale of the game. It makes it feel like the room is actually bigger than it is because we can only see part of it. And this is very useful basically I mean, there are some games that don't use views, like Pac-Man, for instance, doesn't use views. But let's say you're building a Pokemon game. There's views in Pokemon, right? When you're walking around, you can't see the entire world map all at once. That would be insane. Your character would be like one pixel tall. So they use views in that, and this will help you with whatever game you're building. If you're building a platform game or an RPG or whatever, you can use views to, uh, to do that. I mean... I'm not sure how to describe that, but you can use views in it. So thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe, like, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Share these videos with your friends. I mean, I love teaching Game Maker. It's kind of a new thing that I've discovered. I really enjoy it. So share it with your friends. You all can build a game together. I've got some exciting things coming in the next videos. Uh, really exciting things. So I'll keep you uh, kind of, I'll keep you posted on that. So thank you guys, and you guys have a great night.